When you're working with 3D printing, file formats are an important consideration and choosing the right settings for your file format can make your print better. To talk a little bit about this, I have with me Brittany Hancock, who's an engineering education specialist at Carbon. Brittany, thanks for joining us. Thanks, John. When you start talking about 3D printing, there are a lot of different file types out there. You may be working with someone where you have to send them a particular file, file type, and they will ask you for something like you're supposed to know what it is. So we're gonna quickly talk about some of that. So there are a couple of different file types. The first one I'm gonna mention is the step file or the STP file. That file destination is basically your CAD model. It's kind of the generic file type for your CAD. So you can send that to someone and they can utilize that to create the, whatever file type they may need for their particular 3D printer. So a step file is the kind of file that you would get exported from parametric CAD software like SOLIDWORKS or CATIA or Fusion 360, is that right? Yes, or Creo, uh, Pro-E, any type of uh, CAD, CAD system that you're currently using. So some of the other file types we're gonna talk about are really their meshes. So where a step file is your, all of your CAD data loaded into that file, what we use in additive manufacturing or the 3D printing world are these mesh type files. You've got everything from the most common, which is STL, you've got PLYs and OBJs. Now all of those are some form of mesh of the surface of your model. Like I said, the most common one is STL and that's the one we're gonna talk about. With STLs, you control how fine the mesh is Resin-based printers such as Carbon need a pretty fine mesh in order to print the best quality part. Because and, you'll actually see the, the faceting um, in the printed part that's a result of a low quality mesh, right? You're correct. And I have some examples of that, I have some pictures of that, that will print in your part. The other kind of fine line you're trying to walk is you're trying to find, you, you want good part quality, so you need a good mesh, but you also don't want to have a file that is a large size. Currently what I'm showing is the round part and I took three different settings. So I was using Onshape at the time. Each CAD package ex exports an STL a little bit differently. You can see between coarse, medium, and fine, you can see the faceting and you can see that with the fine setting, you have a much smoother surface and that's what you're looking for. You got to remember that when you created your STL, these are triangles trying to fill in your surface of your part. So you want those triangles to be small so you get that good detail. So in summary, you just want a nice smooth surface. If you can count triangles, if you can see faceted edges, anything of that nature, you want to go back and resave it. And uh, watch your file size. If you've got something that's 150, 200 megs, you need to uh, not have such a fine mesh because it's going to be really hard to process that file on your printer. Excellent. This is really helpful and viewers can learn more about best practices for 3D printing and more about these high detail, high resolution, resin-based 3D printing technologies by visiting carbon3d.com. Brittany Hancock, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, John.